Hi, I'm Pam. And I'm Kate, and we both volunteer together here at Cops and Kids. I'm going to be reading Ruby Valentine Saves the Day. And I'm reading today Never Too Little to Love. After I finish reading my story and Kate finishes reading her story, we're going to be making two crafts. We're going to be making tie-dyed hearts and a little mouse made from a heart. So today we're reading Ruby Valentine Saves the Day by Laura Friedman. High above the hills of Heartland, just beyond the township sign with her feathered friend named Lovebird lived Ruby Valentine. Now Ruby had a favorite day. It came round once a year as she settled into her new house. Valentine's was drawing near. So she decided to throw a party and without a moment's hesitation, she and Lovebird sat right down and designed the invitation. It's a party on February 14th, also known as Valentine's Day. Please join me at my house to eat and drink and play. I'll await your RSVP that says, you'll be mine. I can't wait to celebrate. Love, Ruby Valentine. Ruby mailed the invitations, then hugged Lovebird with affection. She told her feathered friend they planned this party to perfection. She and Lovebird hung new curtains. They scoured every nook. They decorated room by room. They began to bake and cook. When they tidied up the outside, Lovebird clung to every feather. Ruby shivered with excitement, or possibly from bad weather. As the special day drew closer, Ruby counted RSVPs. She never noticed the thermometer. It read 32 degrees. Valentine's is tomorrow, and I want everything to be just right. Ruby tied up gifts and goodie bags, then kissed Lovebird good night. But when Valentine's arrived, it brought something unexpected. Though Ruby planned out most things, there was one thing she neglected. A snowstorm, cried out Ruby. She spent all morning on the phone. No one could make it up the mountain. She'd be celebrating Valentine's all alone. My perfect party, sobbed poor Ruby. Now it won't take place. Lovebird wiped away the tears as they trickled down her face. Then he looked outside the window and said, Do not despair. If no one can make it here, let's take the party there. Ruby looked at Lovebird. This wasn't how I'd planned the day. Lovebird shook his feathers. There is no other way. So together, Ruby and Lovebird carefully packed their sled as they set out down the mountain. Ruby yelled, Full steam ahead! But as they made their way to Heartland, little did they know, they left behind a trail of party fare amidst the ice and snow. Happy Valentine's Day, cried Ruby as she went from door to door. She gathered everyone in Heartland from every school and house and store. Time to celebrate, smiled Ruby. We'll have a party in town. Then horrified, she realized her sled was dry and bare. Ruby wrung her hands together. I've made a big mistake. We can't have a party without presents, cards, or cake. Nonsense, said the townspeople. We'll have fun anyway. As long as we're together, let's enjoy the day. So they built a giant snowman. They sang songs around a fire. They sounded so good together, they formed the Heartland Choir. Everyone loved the holiday, but Ruby most of all. It wasn't what she planned, but she truly had a ball. In the end, everyone thanked her and said, you saved the day. Ruby smiled from ear to ear. She had something she wanted to say. I've always loved Valentine's. You all know that is true. Though I celebrate every year, today I learned something new. Planning the day out to perfection is not what makes it great. If you're with the ones you love, that's all you need to celebrate. The end.
Ever Too Little to Love by Jean Willis and Jan Fearnley. This is Tiny Too Little. He loves somebody. But she's way up there. And that's a long, long way. If you're tiny and you really want to kiss, he tries to reach her. But he's far too little, even on tiptoes. Even on tiptoes on a thimble. He's too little even on tiptoes on a matchbox. He's too little even on tiptoes on a watermelon. He's too little even on tiptoes on a teacup. He's too little even on tiptoes on a cabbage. He's too little even on tiptoes on a candle. He's too little even on tiptoes on a clock. He's too little even on tiptoes on a cupcake. Do you see how everything's piling up on top? He's too little even on tiptoes on top of stilts. Do you see? Way up there on top of the cupcake there's stilts. So we have thimble, matchbox, watermelon, teacup, cabbage, candle, clock, cupcake, and stilts. Tiny Too Little reaches way up. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Oh no, crash. Oh no, look, everything, everything's coming down. Topsy Too Tall was, sees Tiny Too Little and she loves him, but he's way down there. It's a long way down if you're tall, but it's an even longer way up if you're tiny. You know what kind of animal that is? Yep, it's a giraffe. So she bends down, way, way down, and gives him a great big kiss. Which just goes to show that even if you are tiny, you are never too little to love. The end. So no matter what size you are, big or small, you can always give out lots and lots of love. So that's, that's the end of our story today. Hi, so we're back and we're going to be making a tie-dye heart today. This is what our project's going to look like. So at home, um, we're going to be using coffee filters so you can find some coffee filters from your parents. And you're going to fold, you're going to um, take the coffee filter, fold it in half, trace it and cut it out and it's going to become a heart just like this. Once we have our coffee filter, we're going to get a piece of wax paper and we're going to take our coffee filter and put it on the wax paper. Then you need to find some markers. Any kind of markers will do, any colors, whatever you like. I just use regular Crayola markers. And I started to make one to show you how it looks. I drew this, I just used different colors uh, from the markers and made different designs. And I'm going to lay it on the wax paper. And then I'm going to find a spray bottle. Find any kind of like spray bottle you have in the house. Put a little bit of water in it. And then we're going to lightly spray. Lightly spray the whole thing all over. And as we're spraying, the colors are going to run together. And let's see why it's not spraying anymore. Hold on. Let's see. Make sure you try to get it all over as much as you can. And then we're just going to let it dry. It should only take a few minutes to dry, but as we're spraying, you see how all the colors are starting to run together? The yellows and the pinks. Looks really pretty. We got it all sprayed. And in the meantime, once you let it dry, we bought these doilies like this you can buy them heart shaped here's here's a round one I just bought them at the dollar store or I bought them at uh, Michaels you can also use a different color piece of paper you can use pink or purple anything that you like as a background and when it's all dry it's gonna look like this 
can you see the colors from both sides? And then what we're going to do is just we're going to take a little bit of glue, glue stick, or Elmer's glue, whatever you have around the house, and we're just going to kind of glue it around. Over. Lay it right on top. And then you have a really pretty Valentine to share with somebody that you love. Just like Valentine did in her story. And this is the wet one, is how it looks. Colors come together. Whatever colors you like to use, you can use all the same or different ones. And that's my Valentine Heart Project. Okay, so now we're going to make, we're going to do Tiny Too Little, the story that I read. We're going to make make the little mouse out of a heart. So this is what it's going to, the final product is going to look like. So you can use it with white paper or purple or pink. There's pink paper. Whatever you have at home is fine. Or you can color it. So what you do first is you take a piece of paper, you fold it in half, and crease it, and then you draw half half of a heart. And then you take your scissors. We're going to cut cut out the part. Cut around my lines like that. And then when you open it up, you have a whole heart, but we're going to fold it back in half cuz that's going to be the mouse body. So, okay. So I'm going to take I have a red pipe cleaner, but you can use whatever color you have. You can go to the dollar store and get these. And this is going to be the tail of our mouse. So I'm going to take our glue stick, I'm going to put it all on the crease like that, and take the tail, put it inside, and you can curl up the end of the tail. I'll show you in a minute. Now I'm going to seal it shut. So I'm going to take my glue stick again, I'm going to go around the edges. Like that, and then I'm going to seal it. So so far we have the tail, and you know I curled it a little bit. You can you know make a whatever little shape you want for the tail. So now now we're going to take. We need an eye. Well, we need an eye, a nose, and whiskers. So if you want to do whiskers, I have. You can either draw them on with a marker, or you can take like I did on this one, I did pink little whiskers. So I just took some paper and cut out thin little strips like that. But I think for this one, I think I'm just going to take a marker and put my, I'm going to take a, a black marker and I'm, I'm going to make little whiskers like that. And then for his nose, I'm going to take a sticker. Now, you know, I found these, these are like at the dollar store. You might have stickers at home, or you can just draw a little heart or a little nose with your crayons or markers or whatever, whatever you have at your house. I'm going to take a heart sticker and I'm going to put it on the tip for the nose and the little whiskers are on there. And then I, I have googly eyes, which again, you can get at the dollar store. But if you don't have those, then you can just draw a little circle for the eye. I'm going to take glue stick, put a little circle on there, and then put, put on the eye. Like that. Hold it down. Okay, so we have the nose, the whiskers, the eye, and a tail. And I think we need an ear. I think Tiny Too Little needs an ear. So I'm going to take another sticker, and let's see, I think I'll do a red one. I'm going to do a red heart for Tiny's ear. So I'm going to stick it right on here, like that, and that's his little ear. Isn't that cute? And now I'm going to, I think I'll decorate it a little bit more. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to put a couple more little heart stickers, since I have them. I think I'll put a couple more on Tiny Too Little on his body. Maybe a big heart in the middle, like that. And oh, maybe a couple pink ones. I have some pink stickers. You might you don't even have to use hearts. If you have other stickers you want to use, you can use those or 
just do your own little drawings. Okay. So there we go. So now we have Tiny Too Little, and I think he looks pretty cute. And that's it. That's our craft for today. See you next time.